Hi, I'm Paul Grykowski, and today I'm going to be talking about the PCI Express VIP monitor and test suites. As you can see here, we have our passive monitor, and this is enabled as part of the VIP. It can either be run in conjunction with the active part, or it can be run standalone as a passive monitor. What's really unique about our passive monitor is it has the ability to be configuration aware. So this can either be programmed in by the user from, via the back door, or you actually can uh, snoop the bus, watch the enumeration sequences, and program the configuration space by itself. What's great about this is once it's configuration aware, it can do the checking based upon the actual configuration set up in the test. Some other features are that the monitor is able to um, basically be told a particular error is going to happen and respond accordingly. So you can tell it it's coming, and it'll tolerate that error and recover just the way it's supposed to. Also, it has built-in LTSSM tracking and reporting, so you have full access to that. We also have a full list of analysis ports, both on the transmit and, and the receive side, and able you to get access to all the TLPs and DLPs as they flow through the different protocol stacks. Also, we have a large collection of compliance checks that are built into the model that support all the layers from TL down to the PL. So if we take a look at here, we have what I want to kind of share with you is the overall components that build up our test suites. It's more than just a set of tests. So the first thing is we give you a verification plan. This is the verification plan that we use to actually develop the test suite and validate that we've achieved our goals. So with this, you can see the coverage holes and also um, see which checks were fired and so forth. The next thing we give you, obviously, are the tests. The tests are written in System Verilog UVM. They're completely source code based, so you have full access to them. You can use them as is. You can take them and extend from them. You can customize them as you need. And, of course, they do support both directed and random. The next thing you'll see as part of the, the test bench environment is we are fully um, taking advantage of the checks that I mentioned earlier, whether it be in the active or the passive monitor. And these checks look at both system level and protocol level checks. Also, we have the protocol aware debug interface. So we have full support for Verdi Protocol Analyzer. You can take advantage of this graphical interface for doing debug work. We also have reports that are generated for both symbol and transaction logging. And finally, we have built-in functional coverage. So the model itself includes functional coverage, and we take that and we collect the functional coverage as we're running, and we can use that to validate that our goals have been met. So the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the source code test suites. Um, the number one thing about the source code test suites is they're um, like I said, they're open source, and with that, they're self-documenting. There's a lot of details about how we put them together. They interface to the verification plan. You can take these tests and you can customize them. For instance, the cases where a customer had an issue happen in, in the field with their device, they were able to take a test uh, that was similar to the issue in the, in the field, modify it to match those specs exactly so they could actually reproduce what was happening out there. It's a great time saver. They didn't have to write this, the test from scratch. They could just take advantage of it as it is. Also, um, the tests are very high in coverage. First off, we've validated the test suite against our own Synopsys IIP core using configurations that our customers have used. So this ensures that we're doing uh, the same thing the customers are doing out in the field. Also, it's been used on various third-party cores as well. And, you know, we run these tests to make sure that we're getting very high coverage, both in terms of functional and code coverage. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the accelerated debug. So the tests take full advantage of Verdi Protocol Analyzer. So it, it, they'll, all the transactions will be dumped. You can be used for your debug work. And as I mentioned earlier, we have the transaction and symbol logs as well that will run alongside the test. So for more information, please go to synopsis.com slash VIP. And thank you very much for your time.